Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube channel and for all the new subscribers, welcome. Um, I have a new tutorial for you today. This is a commission that I did recently. Um, this is the pencil drawing that I drew by hand of uh, this horse and um, his owner. And I am now on to the colouring stage in Photoshop CC. As you can see, this video is sped up really fast. It took me about two to three hours to actually colour this illustration. And if you look closely, I'm going back and forth from my photo reference to the art just to get an idea of colour and um, definition and where the light hits and, and the shadows hit. So I always start with the person um, whenever I do my illustrations. If there's a human involved, I start with the person first and just get in the skin tones and the hair. I start with lighter tones for the um, shine on the hair. And then if, like this lady, she actually has a brunette hair and I got slightly darker, adding more layers of colour um, as I went. Um, now putting in the eyes and making sure I had the correct eye colour. Um, adding all the facial features. And this is just my particular style, yours will be different, um, but this is just how I like to do people, pretty simple. And uh, so just blocking in colours right now. Um, and I love drawing hair, I love making that shine and the shadow. I spend quite a lot of time um, drawing hair and colouring it and getting it how I want it to be. So after that I block in colour for her clothing starting with one colour, then adding shadows. So you always start light to dark. So the lightest tone first, then start layering on your colour, your shadows, and then into doing her blue jeans and kind of lighter at the bottom and blending so it sort of fades out. Then we start blocking in the colour of the horse. And I started with just this brown, which um, I thought was the closest match to the photograph of the horse. Um, and then adding in warm tones first along the neck and the back and down the face, wherever the light was hitting from that right angle and building up shadows. On the left face, see, I'm actually adding blue. And that's because it's kind of a cold shadow on the left of the horse's face. And from there, I build up more shadows and darker tones to make this horse really pop and and the colour to be a true bay colour, which this horse was. Um, and then start to go in with deeper shadows around the neck, around the bridle, and um, along the mane, and down the face. Um, yeah, as you can see, it looks like this was super fast, but this took me a really long time. I spent a lot of time on the face because I thought it was just such a great photo reference that I really wanted to nail that and get it really good. Um, the star in the middle, the lightest part of the horse, I did at the end and I just wanted to get in the main coat colour first and then come back and add those highlights which is what I'm doing now. Um, to do that you need to have your brush on normal so that you can layer on top of a dark colour, not on multiply. Multiply is simply for layering colour on top of colour. And now I'm adding uh, the details into the eye, and this was really fun to do, and if you really zoomed in and looked at the eye, it was really cool. You could see the reflection and the eyelashes, and there was actually quite a lot of different colors in that, in that eye. Now just adding a few more details, a little more definition, now the nostrils, just more finishing touches. Still haven't quite done the bridle or anything like that yet. Just got the basic horse in first. Then moving on to the leather work of the bridle. And as you can see, I'm using blues, which this is a black bridle, but the light shining on that black bridle was actually a blue. And it just kind of makes it look a little bit more realistic if you, if you go with colors that you actually see in the photograph, even though it doesn't seem right. Um, when you see the finished piece, it, it makes sense. Daring to use different colors. <laughs> so yeah, really adding the detail now into the bridle and the leather work.
again more blue, layering darker colours, kind of indigo and black. And wrapping it around. And when I start on the bit, the metal part in the horse's mouth, I really wanted that to look uh, metallic and kind of shiny, as it did in the photograph. So I spent some time really working on, I took a few artistic liberties as well, um, but I really wanted it to kind of pop out and look different to the horse. It's a different texture, it's metal, it's not that fur, that soft fur that the horse has, especially around the horse's muzzle where it's really fuzzy and soft. Adding in some shadows now around the bridle work to make it look like it's really sitting on the horse's face. And then down into the reins. That was just like a dark indigo shadow. And blurring my edges a little to make it look a little more finished. And then I start to outline. I always love outlining. It just doesn't feel finished to me unless I've done at least a little bit of an outline. As you can see, it just makes it pop. And to me, that's an illustration. Uh, it's the kind of the difference between an illustration and fine art. I mean, I still consider illustration fine art personally, but this is, it really feels like an illustration if it's got that, that outline. And I just love the way it makes it pop. Even outlining the hair. And I finished the hand there, but I ended up not liking it. I ended up uh, putting in a pocket and having my hand in there because I felt it was a bit distracting me where it was. And so I just sort of had her hand in her pocket. And I preferred that more. It looked a bit more finished. And there you go, adding a little highlight. And that was pretty much the finished illustration. And they really loved it, the way it came out signature. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.